Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thought I would do a video on my favorite nude or neutral glosses. Well, I tried to pull out all the ones that I have that I really enjoy, but I'm sure I forgot some because there may be some like in a makeup bag or another cabinet or something. So I thought to myself as I'm pulling them, I was like, I'm sure I'm missing some, but I have a good amount here. And that's why I don't have any lips on today. I thought I would um, show you starting as soon as the video started. So the first color I'm going to show you is Nanars. Um, what are these? The Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer. This is the color Santo Domingo. It's a kind of a more of an opaque rose color. And this formulation is, it's very thick, very glossy. I mean, all glosses your hair is going to stick to. There are some that I have here that are a little less goopy than others or less sticky and these get all over your teeth as you can see ah mm, my gosh that's the only thing about this formula the color is beautiful but it gets all over my lips and it's so it's really difficult some of these don't at all but this one really does it's a gorgeous this is just very I like because it's very opaque and it gives a lot of color. Very, very shiny. Not very sticky. It has a lot of slip to it, but it will literally get all over your teeth. So you have to kind of do that finger thing just to kind of clean up the inside of your lips. Pretty long wearing for a gloss. And I mean, I I don't always didn't love some of the other co other colors from it because it was too any darker colors in this full vinyl lacquer formula were just too high maintenance for me like they would bleed or anything so the only one that I really loved was the nude shade the Santo Domingo it's not really nude it's more of like just like a nice neutral rose and oh my gosh it's already getting like all over my teeth see it's a little high maintenance so if you can manage that you'll love it but if you don't want to deal with that then I've got some others next Clay de Poe Radiant Gloss in Pink Aura now this is one of the best gloss formulas ever. It is a very nude. There's not a lot of color to it. It has a little bit of shimmer. This is probably one of the best feeling glosses I own. It feels like a bomb going on. It's very, very sheer. So this is not going to give you a ton of color. This probably would be best layered over top of things. I mean, you can wear it alone if you kind of are doing maybe a dramatic eye or you just really don't want a lot of color, but the formula, it's, it's one of the best out there and has a little bit of shimmer, but there's no like grittiness to it. Very smooth, very creamy. It does not last long because it is very sheer. So this is the type of gloss you're going to need to reapply. And, but if you do love gloss and you want the least sticky out of all of them, that's going to be the least sticky. It's going to feel the best. This probably feels the best on my lips out of all of the formulas. This was a newer uh, formula for me that I've, I've never tried the, any of the NYX glosses. So this is the lingerie gloss in the shade Spirit. It's so good. The color is gorgeous. The formula is really nice. Very opaque, very creamy, not very sticky. Feels almost like a liquid lip that has some shimmer, like that has some shine to it. And just, I don't know, it's just a really beautiful formula. And for the price point, it's great. So it's just like a little bit outside the line, but gorgeous neutral peach color. And I don't know, it just feels, it's not, none of these are super long wearing. Um, this lasted a good amount of time and I like that it was opaque and has, has like a minty feel. So it may kind of tingle your lips a little bit, mm, but for the price point, you can't go wrong. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This wouldn't be really considered a gloss per se, but it is somewhat shiny. And for those of you that are like, I want something shiny on my lips, but I don't tend to gravitate towards gloss because of whatever reason, the Bobbi Brown crushed liquid lip. This is the shade, what is it, uh, Lychee Baby. And it's more of a liquid lip with, a, with some moisture to it. Like it gives a little bit of a shine on the lips. It's creamy, comfortable to wear, and kind of like 
you know, mix between a gloss and a lipstick. And the color is quite nude, so I like to mix this, for me, very, very peachy, like very peachy. I like to mix this more with a, another color, maybe a little lip liner or something like that, that I want to lighten up a bit. So I'll put this on top. And it just feels great on the lips. I'm starting to get that little like line right there when I like exfoliate my lips too much. And like I said, there's a, there's a hint of shine, so that's why I included it in the gloss video, but it's not technically really a gloss. It's more of a liquid lipstick, but like I said, but it has a little bit of shine. So I feel like if you're not a fan of gloss and you want something, um, not a lipstick, something in between, this is a perfect um, solution. This formula is, it's very sticky, but the color is really beautiful. It's the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine in the color Fuel. And it's, it's good coverage. I would say it's like a nice medium coverage, but the color is really beautiful. It's very minty, has a strong scent, so it like tingles the lips a little bit. It is, it's more sticky than some of the other ones that I've just tried. It has, I mean, it's creamy when you first put it on, but after a minute or two, you're like, meh, meh, meh. It definitely is a little tacky. So this may not be if you don't, if you don't want a tacky feel to the lips but I love the color. The color is really great. And I like how evenly it applies. All of these, like I find that apply very easily or evenly, but some of them are more sheer than others. But I just love how, this is like a medium coverage. It's a nice opaque gloss that you can wear alone rather than having to layer it with something else. There was also another color like Midnight Cowgirl or something. It was like a really nude shade. It was beautiful, but I couldn't find it anymore online. So I was like, I'm not even gonna show it in the video and get everyone excited. But the but Fuel is still available. This gloss by Marc Jacobs is probably one of my favorite. I just love the color. I love how it goes on. I love how it feels. I love that I can wear it over other things. It's the Enamor Gloss in Sugar Sugar. This is almost too nude to wear alone. Um, you can, I normally would layer it over like maybe a lip liner. But the formula is really smooth, really creamy. It's just a great milky nude to add over things when you want to add some shine and maybe like tone down a lip color. I love the doe foot applicator. It's very bendy. And I just think it's like really, you know, easy to apply. As you can see, it's a little too nude. Like for me, especially, I think it's, better layered over things, but I wear it in a lot of my videos because I love the way it layers over things and I love the finish it gives and it just feels good. Very creamy, has a little bit of a minty feeling, so just know that. Um, a lot of these do, and uh, but nothing, doesn't make my lips tingle as much as the Urban Decay does. And this, I mean, these last, uh, it's not gonna last for a very long time. You're gonna have to reapply constantly with this gloss but the color is just, it's so good and that's why I always go back to it. This is the ultimate in tingly lip colors and this is kind of like an old um, milky nude that I used to love and I still do. It's the Buxom Lip Polish in White Russian. This is still a favorite. It's just such a classic color. The formula is very sticky. It does kind of tingle a little bit, but I cannot quit this color. It manages to be milky and nude-like, but still sheer. So compared to the Marc Jacobs that I just tried, that was almost more milky. So you really had to kind of blend it and because it just, it could look too milky on the lips, even though I do love it. This color manages, it just manages to settle on the lips and make my lips just look full, glossy, lovely. It's beautiful to wear alone. I feel like it's nude, but I can still wear it alone or layer it over things. It is very minty. It is tingly, which doesn't bother me, but if that bothers you, this is not like avoid this at all cost. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous gloss, especially even for pictures. If you want something to make your lips really full and beautiful, this is the gloss. And I like that it kind of evenly disperses. So sometimes with milky nudes, you can almost see your lip lines through it. Do you know what I'm saying? This manages to 
distribute and settle nice and evenly so it doesn't kind of settle and look like you can see the the lines on the lips sometimes like those milky nudes do so highly recommend this one much like the bobby brown liquid lip that i just showed this is very similar as well this is the clay de po radiant liquid rouge yes in number 11 it's i put it in the gloss video because it is somewhat um shiny but it's more like a liquid lipstick a very wonderful creamy smooth liquid lipstick i don't know how clay de po formulates their lip colors but they are phenomenal it has so much just feels very creamy there's a lot of slip to it it will last longer than the gloss that i showed from clay de po earlier this will definitely give you a few hours wear, but because it's so creamy and slippery, it definitely isn't exceptionally long wearing. But I love, this I feel like is a great formula for like a workplace. You need like a lip color. You don't want to wear a gloss maybe because I don't know, maybe your workplace is very conservative, but you don't want to wear like a very intense lipstick. Something like this would be perfect because it just gives a hint of shine to the lips. Your lips aren't dripping in gloss. They're not shimmery. This still feels great on the lips and you don't have to reapply every, you know, 30 minutes or whatnot. Great option. And I love the shade number 11. The last two glosses are new ones from Hourglass. This is the shade Unreal. Oh yeah. They're very opaque. A lot of, it's like a medium coverage. They sheer out, obviously, the more you kind of like spread them around, but they're gorgeous. They feel amazing on the lips. They just give a beautiful finish. This is the shade, oh, Child. It was called Unreal because they literally, they're called the Unreal Glosses and it's the huge, the name Unreal is like in really big letters and underneath that, like in teeny tiny letters, is the actual shade name. So you just end up calling it Unreal. And this is the color Child. A little more peachy. I also have Sublime, which is more pink. They feel, oh, they have such a gorgeous slip to them. Very creamy. As compared to, let's say, like the NARS or the Marc Jacobs or the Buxom, where they're the Urban Decay, they're a little tingly, have that minty thing to it, kind of, so it helps a little plump the lips a little bit. This doesn't have that. I feel it feels fresh on the lips, but there's no tingling and no mintiness to it, which is good. So if you don't like that, this would be a great option. Last color is the Hourglass Gloss in Sublime. More, more pink, yes. I'm like, they look identical. So you could probably just get away with wearing either one. <laughs> they look identical. But if you want it to be a little more pink than peach, this is the one. And this is a great everyday lip color. Like you can throw that on, you can run your errands, you can wear it with a full face like I have, or you can wear it with nothing on the face because it just gives your lip color a little bit of oomph. And doesn't, the only color that really got on my teeth was the NARS. I still really love this color, Santa Domingo, because it's a little cooler of a pink. It's more of a rose pink that doesn't have a lot of peach in it. So I know I show a lot of peachy colors. If you want something a little more, you're like, I like a cooler tone. That is the color. It's gorgeous, but it does get on your teeth. So it's just, sometimes you gotta like take the good with the bad and decide like, do I like this color enough to deal with that? This and none of the other ones got on my teeth. This has quite a good bit of coverage and I would think it would get on my teeth, but it doesn't. So that's it. Those, I'm sure I missed some or whatever, but I just kind of grabbed these really quickly and wanted to put this video together because I know a lot of you ask me often about like nude lip colors. So maybe I'll do it. I think I've done a nude lipstick video, but maybe I've done one in a while, but I haven't done a gloss video in a while. So I thought this would be fun to do. Love to know your favorite shades of nude gloss. And also let me know your skin tone. And that way other people, because obviously these are just great nude lip colors. I mean, these are great for a lot of different skin tones, but obviously I'm fair. So I can't speak to what would look good on someone with more olive skin tone, a darker skin tone, more uh, medium skin tone. So let me know your favorite uh, nude gloss colors and your skin tone so that other people can read the comments below and get some other suggestions. And I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.